Sam and I, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 3rd to the 9th of January. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Gemini, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the seven of pentacles and your important message here is I trust my ideas and my direction. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the strength in reverse. Okay, so your challenge here, Gemini, has a lot to do with an investment that you want to make. Okay, either you are planning on, you know, investing money, time, energy into something, um, and it may be challenging for you to maybe possibly make a decision about this. We're going to clarify the Seven of Pentacles and see what the important message is here for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Six of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. I do feel like in the recent past, there was some sort of compromise here, okay, wanting to work things out with you, um, you know, maybe maybe even, um, you know, may even have been a relationship here where you started to make memories with this person. You may have started to really feel a really strong connection with this person. I'm also getting that there was a really strong energy here of cooperation and working together to make this happen. We're going to clarify this and get more information in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Justice, the Six of Swords, and the King of Swords. A lot of you are trying to figure out whether or not you should remain disconnected from some sort of situation. I do feel like the reason why a lot of you are choosing to disconnect from some sort of situation in the present moment is because it's be, it's become excuse me um very trying very um tumultuous there's been a lot of you know um I feel like arguments, conflicts, fighting, and or stress. And that may be the reason why you're disconnecting in the present moment. I do feel like in the present moment, there is an opportunity for you and this person to possibly work things out. You have the justice here. And the important message here for you is I speak my truth and fairness to myself. Okay. So we're going to clarify this and see what the important messages are for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the nine of pentacles, the king of pentacles, and the seven of cups. I do feel in the near future, there will be an opportunity here with me maybe an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It looks like somebody here is coming in and genuinely making you an offer. Um, I do see some sort of confusing situation, or if it's not a confusing situation, I do see multiple offers of love coming in. We're going to clarify this and see exactly what the messages are for you in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Gemini, you have the strength, the Knight of Cups, the Magician, the Death, the Ten of Swords and the Page of Wands in reverse, okay? So I'm really strongly getting here that for many of you, the reason why you're not moving into a new direction is because something here that ha that has needed to end or hasn't quite ended yet, maybe with a Scorpio here or an Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the reason why things are not really moving forward for you and you're not moving into a new direction is because something here hasn't ended, okay? You still left the door open to maybe somebody to come in and out, and that may be the reason why something here is stagnant or not moving forward. There's a reason why a water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aries, maybe a Leo, um, Scorpio I'm getting here. There's a reason why this person has withdrawn from you. And again, the reason why I feel this person has withdrawn is because there's been some sort of unresolved issues between you and them. And there's an issue, uh, there's an issue concerning you and this person not being able to kind of get on the same page when it comes to recognizing why something came to an end and what we need to learn from it moving forward. Okay. So big lesson here, um, in regards to somebody you're connected to, things haven't ended between you and them, but things are also not moving forward either and it's because of something here that hasn't completely ended correctly or hasn't been resolved okay so let's get into your reading gemini and let's see what's going on for you let's clarify the seven of pentacles So 
So the Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Okay. So for many of you, I'm really strongly getting your challenge has a lot to do with someone here from the past. Um, you may be inquiring whether or not you should still invest into this connection with this person. Should, should I be with them? Should I not be with them? There is definitely some sort of um, uncertainty when it comes to, you know, you still investing or being interested in someone, you know, from your past. Tell me more about the recent past for Gemini. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Four of a Pentacles. I'm really strongly getting here in the recent past. You had a reconciliation with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting maybe an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. A lot of you were really trying in the recent past to heal the connection and possibly find ways to cooperate to make this work. Okay. So it looks like you were still very much in love with somebody here in the past and you try to make things work. Now in the present moment, you don't know if you should stay or go. You don't know if the situation is going to be resolved or not. Tell me more about the King of Swords in the present moment for Gemini. What's the important message? message here for them. Okay, so the King of Swords is clarified by the Six of Swords. You have the Page of Cups and the Nine of Wands. I'm really strongly getting in the present moment a lot of you... Um, there's a decision here you have to make and I can't make that decision for you. I can just tell you what I see in the cards. I'm really strongly getting that if you really want this situation to work out, Gemini, there's something here about you needing to be open to forgiving and healing, um, being open to maybe um, forgiving this person for something they did or, you know, having that discussion with them because I feel like something here in the present moment is bothering you. That's what I'm seeing here. And there's a reason why this situation is bothering you. And a lot of you are trying to make sense of it. And a lot of you may need to disconnect in the present moment to make sense of things within yourself before you can completely figure out what you want to do moving forward. Because your challenge has a lot to do with whether or not you still want to invest time and energy into this. Tell me more about the Six of Swords in the present moment for Gemini. So the Six of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords. You have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting in the present moment. Again, you may decide to end things, okay, with this person. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The reason why you may decide to end things with this person is because you want peace and you want stability. And this person may not be able to give you that right now, okay? I'm seeing somebody here who's younger than you or somebody here who kind of keeps their options open, okay? Like somebody who plays the field or just kind of, keeps things keeps things open now there is an opportunity to work things out here if you don't completely give up on the situation uh tell me more about the justice something here uh in the present moment i feel like someone wants to set something right with you because there's been some sort of issues the justice is clarified by the magician, the four of cups and the king of swords. There's something here about setting something right with a specific person, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Libra or an Aries. I'm really strongly getting that you may want to set something right with this person because you may feel like this person rejects you or they may act like they're not interested. And that again may be another reason why Gemini, you're deciding to disconnect from this because you don't want to be in a situation where you know, you're showing this person you want to be with them, you're offering love, but then they're not accepting it. Someone here is rejecting someone in the present moment. And that's actually leading to some sort of, um, you know, desire. And this could be you or your person. This person wants to disconnect in the present moment because they don't want to confront rejection. They don't want to be rejected. Okay. So in the near future, it looks like somebody here decides to kind of be single and be on their own because of all this confusion. Okay. There is a lot of confusion. Do they want me? Do they not want me? Are we together? Or are we not together? Do they have other options or is it just me? That's what I'm seeing here in the near future. Tell me more about the seven of cups in the near future. What does Gemini need to know? 
So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah. So even though there's a lot of confusion and a lot of options here in the near future, there's one specific option or opportunity that you have. And there is an offer coming in from an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I do see this person wanting to move into a new direction. So if you've been going through, um, you know, confusion, or if you do find that there's some sort of confusion in the near future, it's because you need to get clear on what it is that you want. Okay. Who is it that you specifically want and what opportunities um, do you want? Because they're going to present themselves to you. But one of these opportunities in the near future are going to, is going to be the best for you is what I'm seeing. You have the King of Pentacles. Tell me more about what this person's offering Gemini here in the near future. The King of Pentacles is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Hangman. I do see this person coming towards you, um, making an offer, but they want to work something out with you. They want to clear the air. And this may be uh, your person explaining why they haven't taken action. I see this person explaining why they haven't taken action towards you in the near future. And they may even tell you, look, the timing needed to be right for us. The, the Hangman is not only about, you know, looking at things from a different perspective, but it's also, you know... Um, about you being in a place where the timing has to be right because movement isn't going to happen unless the timing is right and unless you completely understand the situation completely and fully so this person it looks like even though there is confusion there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to work things out and move into a new direction i'm also seeing the nine of pentacles here tell me more about the nine of pentacles for gemini in the near future So the Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Wands. You have the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups. Yeah. So it looks like somebody here in the near future is no longer going to be single. And that could be you. It looks like there's going to be a serious, solid connection coming in for you. Um, what I do see here in the near future is overanalyzing. That's what you may be doing. You may be overanalyzing. And that's why your challenge is the Seven of Pentacles, because you don't know if you want this 100%. Okay, in the future, even though it's presenting itself, it doesn't mean that you're 100% wanting it. Okay, you may be overanalyzing the situation. So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice for Gemini? So the advice for you is the death, the magician and the knight of cups. Your biggest piece of advice moving forward, and I have a specific message for you, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but somebody needs to hear it. If you want to be in a solid commitment or a relationship and you don't want to be in, you know, a casual connection where you don't really know where you stand with someone, there's something here about you needing to put an end to something here that's not consistent. Okay. So if it's not been consistent in 2021, it's not going to be consistent in 2022 you have to make the changes. Okay. That's not something that I can do for you or anybody else can do for you. You are the magician, Gemini, you are the magician, you create your own reality. So if there's something here that you don't like, how can you transform it? What is it that you need to do to transform the situation so that you can get it back to the way that you want it to do? You are the magician. Once you realize that you are the magician and you can create the reality that you want, that's when you're going to be able to uh, make the, 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 the important steps to manifest and create what you want, but you have to put an end to something here that isn't consistent. Knight of cups is not consistent. This is somebody here that is there one day and the next day they're not there. And you're always constantly worried about this person. And if you're going to be with them, don't do that to yourself. Realize you're the magician, put an end to something that isn't consistent and make room for something that is consistent. Okay. So this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.